Jack here, and I've got with me this really cool Moano PD200X XLR and USB podcasting type microphone. This is a really neat microphone with some super cool and exciting RGB features. I guess they really can put RGB in everything. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. We're gonna open this up, show you the functions, and do a little sound test so you can have an idea of what you're getting into if you get this Moano PD200X microphone. Let's take a look. There's a couple things I wanna look at before we shred open the box. On the side here, there are a list of features, which is really helpful. There is an anti-shock, anti-pop mount that comes with the microphone. Like I said, there is USB-C and XLR connectivity, so whether you use it directly to your computer via USB or with the included XLR port and an audio interface, you do have that option. There's a two-in-one digital knob, so that knob lets you actually change both the microphone volume and the headphone output volume. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Programmable RGB, which means you can set the color and style of the microphone to anything that you like, which is a really cool feature. And there's a one key mute button, which works with the USB functionality. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. Slide off the top cover of the box, open up the smaller box. And the first thing you see inside is the little instruction manual. Definitely recommend checking this out if you have any questions. There's a lot of good information here on how to use it, especially if you've never used a microphone like this before. There is some instructions getting the mono link set up as well, both on Mac and PC. So if you do want to use the accompanying software, I recommend checking this out for sure. Now this is a front address microphone, not a side address microphone. So we're going to make sure we talk into it this way and not that way. That's very important. And then all the other functions and features will be in here, but we're gonna to touch on most of those in this video. Underneath the foam is the microphone itself. You can see we've got the microphone and a really nice USB type C to USB type A cable with a special feature, and that is that this adapter is attached to the cable, so it does also function as a USB-C to USB-C cable. So that is pretty neat. Here is the main microphone with the attached shock mount. So this shock mount is really nice. It allows you to mount everything to a mic stand using this mic stand thread adapter. There also is a different piece here that can go in here for use with the smaller threads that some mic stands have, but most of them are gonna use this large standard size here. Now let's quickly go over some of the features of the microphone. There is a mute button right here, which we mentioned before. Again, this only works with the USB mode. There is a volume knob, which works for both the microphone input and the headphone output. So based on how you toggle that back and forth, you can use the microphone. You do get a very surprising size cable with this mic. It seems to be about six feet, which is really nice. To get this set up, I've got one end of the cable plugged into my computer. The other end is going into the USB-C port on the back of the microphone. You can see it lights up immediately. Now the ring here, this is the customizable part of the microphone. This ring can be set to multiple different colors, which is a really cool thing. There's a button right here that allows you to actually toggle through those settings, which I really like. So you got red, like an orange, yellow, blue, blue, darker blue, purple, and multicolor. And here you've got the digital volume knob that actually works as both a microphone for your input volume here and your speaker or your headphone output from the back of the microphone here. So by selecting, it turns green and blue, which allows you to switch between those different modes. So you can turn up and down on each mode, which again controls both the input and the output volume of this device. You can see when the mute button is on, this will light up red, regardless of what mode you're in, letting you know that the microphone is muted. Now, one other really nice feature of this mic and the headphone output on the back is that it does feature real-time monitoring, which means you'll be able to hear over the headphones your voice that's coming into the mic, which is a really nice feature and something that a lot of podcasters really do like and enjoy. I went ahead and set the microphone up on a mic stand here, and I'm gonna record a demo of the sound via USB into Ableton Live. And then I'm also gonna record a demo of the sound via the XLR port into Ableton Live. Couple of notes, the shock mount is plastic, like I said. The body of the microphone, the case of the microphone seems to be some kind of like aluminum or a metal feel, which is really nice. And there's a nice foam like windscreen right here. It does appear to be removable, so you can slide this off for cleaning if you want to, just to wash it gently with soap. And then the nice grill in here, which is really nice and reminds me a lot of the SM7B, which is cool. Seems to be a really nice dynamic capsule, and there you can get a better look of the LED ring, which is also a hugely nice feature of this mic. I also love that they give you the option to change through the different color modes with the button on the rear and don't make you use the software to control that. I think that's a really solid touch. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Now, for those of you using this with recording software, as soon as I plugged the USB into the computer, I got an audio input device that showed up called PD200 Podcast Microphone. 
the output device is also the same name. So it was very easy to find this microphone in my input and output devices as soon as I plugged it in. So with the microphone plugged in, I'm already getting some levels, which is really nice. With the button clicked to the green mode, I'm going to go ahead and turn up and down my gain or my input volume on the microphone to adjust as needed. Check one, two, one, two. Right now, you are hearing the sound directly from the PD200X podcast microphone's USB mode. So this is recorded right into Ableton Live via the microphone itself. So with the device plugged in and recording in Ableton Live, I'm able to set the turning, I'm able to set the top nub I'm able to set the top knob here to the green mode and adjust my I'm able to set the top no I'm able to top So with the PD200X setup and recording it into Ableton Live, you're actually hearing the volume of the microphone itself right now directly into Ableton Live via the USB connection. With the top button here set on the green mode, I can rotate that knob to adjust my input gain volume leading into Ableton Live. So this is the sound of the mic. I'm thinking it sounds pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that mute button. Again, the mute button only works during USB operation, so it won't work with the XLR plug, but we're gonna go ahead and click that and it should be muted right now. You shouldn't hear anything from my voice. We're gonna bring it back on. You shouldn't have heard anything there at all. Very nice that that feature's there. And I like that it lights up red to let you know that it's muted. That way if you're on a call and you wanna make sure that the other person isn't hearing what you're saying or isn't hearing any background noise, it's a really solid and easy way to click that on and click that off. So I did go ahead and set this up with my audio interface. And I do have it recording into the Ableton. And so there is no volume control or mute button on the mic when you set it up this way. You don't even have to have it connected via USB, which I think is a nice touch. The way you adjust the gain volume is with your preamp knob. So now you're going to hear the microphone through XLR. I've turned up the preamp a bit here. Check one, two, one, two, check one, two. Again, really exciting that it has both features here. And I'm a really big fan of the custom dynamic capsule that you can hear here. The built-in dynamic mic capsule helps capture deep lows, delicate highs, and crisp mid-tones, as well as just ultra-wide frequency response. They save about 40 hertz to 16,000 hertz, which is really present, crystal clear, and clean sounding. Now, like I said before, I do really think having the USB plug and play functionality of this microphone is really fantastic. The cord is actually 8.2 feet long. It's a very long USB cable, and it allows you to use this mic right away with your computer, even without an audio interface. But because it does have this XLR connection on the back, you are able to connect it to all professional interfaces, mixers, or portable PA systems when podcasting in your studio, which means even if you don't have those things right away, you can definitely grow to that system, which is a really nice feature of this mic. You won't need to change mics. This will work with you as you grow. Now, if you really want to unlock the full potential of this Moano mic, you want to use Moano Link. This allows you to choose the perfect tone from your microphone, and you can turn on and off the RGB light or switch to nine different colors. It also supports an EQ limiter compressor and adjustment in USB mode. So if you, if you do plan to use this mic in USB mode, you're gonna unlock all those features with the Moano Link software. I think this Moano PD200X is a really solid first option for a podcast mic, as well as a professional quality podcast mic that you can grow with, whether you use via USB or the included XLR mount. I think this Moano is a great option and I'm really enjoying it here in my studio. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped your purchase decision. I'll see you in the next one.